When adventurer extraordinaire Lara Croft raided her first tomb back in 1996, she brought with her an exhilarating feeling of isolation and discovery. Over the years, Lara has continued to venture into parts unknown, taking dark turns and tangling with the supernatural as the series evolved alongside the burgeoning third-person action-adventure genre. Lara's latest reboot takes more than a few cues from a current titan of the genre, Nathan Drake and the Uncharted series, but don't let that familiarity put you off. This origin story is a terrific adventure that balances moments of quiet discovery with plenty of rip-roaring action to keep you enthralled from start to finish. I finally set out to make my mark. As Tomb Raider begins, Lara is more an academic than an adventurer. But when she's shipwrecked on an island full of ancient secrets and deadly cultists, she has little choice but to learn how to survive. Lara endures a lot of punishment early in the game, but rather than crumbling under the weight of the physical and emotional struggle she faces, she emerges from them a stronger person. It's empowering to witness Lara's journey from the understandably fearful individual she is when she first arrives on the island to the confident survivor she becomes. Other aspects of the story aren't as strong. There's an event that occurs late in the game that you see coming hours ahead of time, for instance. But as an introduction to the legendary Lara Croft, Tomb Raider is a success. It leaves you eager to see what the future holds for its heroine. Lara's origin story deserves an extraordinary setting, and the island where Tomb Raider takes place does not disappoint. Centuries ago, it was home to a kingdom called Yamatai. Many shrines, temples, statues, and other remnants of that history remain. These ancient buildings and treasures now coexist alongside bunkers built during World War II, the wreckage of planes brought down by the storms that surround the island, and the shanty towns and makeshift machinery of the island's current inhabitants. It's a fascinating hodgepodge of the beautiful and the utilitarian, and it really feels like a place where people have lived and where great and terrible things have happened. For reasons of their own, the cult that currently occupies the island doesn't exactly welcome you with open arms. So the weapons you acquire early on in the game come in very handy. Combat is varied and suspenseful. Some situations give you the opportunity to take a stealthy approach, sneaking up behind enemies to perform silent kills and picking enemies off from a distance with well-aimed arrows while their comrades aren't looking. When your presence is known, enemies are smart and aggressive about flushing you out from cover with grenades and molotovs, which forces you to keep moving and act aggressively. Many enemies attack from a distance while others get in close, so you need to be constantly on your toes, switching between your weapons on the fly and evading foes who attack with melee weapons. Dodging and countering melee attacks is easy, but the savage animations of Lara's counters make eliminating those foes who make the mistake of getting too close to you consistently satisfying. Lara eventually finds powerful new tools like a grenade launcher and uses salvage to improve her weapons, so combat offers more flexibility and becomes more intense as you progress through the game. As great as the combat is, it's the quieter moments in Tomb Raider that are most affecting. The simple act of moving, of shimmying along ridges and climbing up craggy rock walls is a pleasure thanks to the excellent controls and the fantastic environments. Lara's been making desperate leaps and grabbing onto faraway ledges since her earliest game, but it's never felt quite as good as it does here. And the environmental puzzles that crop up frequently are generally just challenging enough to make you stop and think for a moment, but never drag down the pace of your adventure. A number of semi-interactive scripted moments require less from you as a player, moments when the building Lara is standing on starts to crumble or when she's being swept down a perilous river, but these sequences are cinematically exhilarating. When it comes to jaw-dropping set-piece moments, Lara's adventure rivals those of Indiana Jones and Nathan Drake. The competitive multiplayer is enjoyable but unremarkable. It feels great to land a headshot on another player with a bow from across a map, or to activate a snare trap and then see another player heedlessly walk into it. But for the most part, it's standard fare, with the sorts of unlockable weapon upgrades and perks that are now par for the course. The single-player campaign here is the standout. 
It doesn't try to rewrite the book on third-person action-adventure games, but with its excellent controls, engaging heroine, thrilling combat, and fascinating setting, it doesn't need to. Lara may be covering some previously charted territory here, but Tomb Raider is so well-crafted, you won't mind at all.